Hello and welcome to the Switch on the Ground. My name is Danny. Today we're going to take a look at Ghost Blade HD. This is a shmup that I've been waiting for a while. I can't remember if I knew about it during the shmuck shmup apocalypse last October, but it is one that's been on my radar for some time and it finally went on sale. So it's very straightforward. There's no story from what I've been able to tell. You get three chicas to choose from. We're going to go with. Uh, We're going to go with the purple pink one here, and we're going to do an easy run, just so we can actually get through some of the stages of the game. Because this game, it can be disgustingly hard. So you have your basic fire here, but then you also have a focus fire. So it's sort of like Dan Maku in that way. So for the big boys, we're going to focus fire those. We're going to avoid all this pink crap that's trying to kill us. And one thing that stands out to me immediately is that you have the little dot, the little collision dot. Now, with some shmups, it doesn't really tell you where you need to be to not get hit. But the ones that provide this little, like, this little teeny little circle you see down there that's in the middle of my ship hull, as long as that stays out of the poop, we're good. Now, there's a lot that goes on on the screen in this one, 100%. First thing you notice, where the hell are we and what are we doing? We want to avoid the green things, we want to avoid the pink things. It's just crazy. So a lot of the times, I'm not even looking at anything except my dot. Just trying to make sure that I'm staying out of the way. One thing that I do kind of like is that, like Dan Maku and some others, when you destroy an enemy, their projectiles go away too. Which is nice. The music, it's okay. I mean, when I first played it, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But the longer that I sort of played it and went on, I was like, you know, it's actually not super special. And even the audio itself sometimes kind of gets a little grainy. So they could have worked on that a little bit. So I'm going to use a bomb there just because I didn't want to get smacked. Now you do have continues, and I was talking to Mr. Lord Shmup himself on uh, Discord about whether or not there were actually, oh great, we died, if there were unlockables, and he said uh, no. I think you can unlock more continues is what he mentioned. So that is a bit of a bummer. I always like to maybe unlock new weapons or ships or something like that, but I haven't seen any of that sort of thing available yet. So that was stage one. And I believe there are five stages to the game. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Our coffee's ready. We're not going to have enough time to take this sip, so we're going to have to pause. Mm. But while we're here, we'll take a look at some of the actual uh, options here. You can control the wallpaper. Got a few different options there. Wow, quite a few, actually. So six. Ooh, we'll try that one. Then you can choose the HUD position. It'll be shifted over or normal. Let's try shifted. Explosions can be bright or dark. Let's try dark explosions. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Okay, so we just accidentally used our bomb right away. Um, I think I like the dark explosions a little more. It's a little less in your face. Okay, let's watch out for that cone of death. Okay, this is going to get tricky. Uh, another thing that I like about it is the fire spread here. It's huge. And when you die, you don't lose all your power-ups. They kind of just float around. But if you start to get, if you get to talking and you don't see what's going on on the screen, you're going to have a bad day. So you do have a health bar and some lives on the side there. And you have continues. It looks like every time I'm getting hit, it uses a bomb to try to save my ass. Which is fair, because I'm not super great at shmups. But I do find them very fun. High intense, high intensity, and really cool to play. Which is why I was so stoked for the Shmuckopolyps, and why, why I am stoked for it again, and I hope Dace does it in October. Okay, yeah, we're just, we're just losing everything now. Completely shitting the bed. So we should probably focus a little bit. 
today is actually really cool because we got some great news. The Witcher, oh my god, the Witcher is getting a patch. And if you remember a while back, if you follow the Switch community at all, you've noticed that people were hacking, people with hacked Switches were able to unlock a lot of the game options and make the game look amazing. So it looks like the developers are putting out a patch that is actually releasing some of that to the normals. Which is awesome. All the videos I've seen of like the changes with the patches, turning off anti-aliasing, increasing sharpness, it's making the game look really cool. But the most important thing I think people are excited about is the ability to have your cloud saves transfer over for, from um, Steam and uh, your good old games copy. Oh my god, we're just getting annihilated. We need some bombs, dude. Or we just need to die and have everything go away. So the power-ups come fast and furious when you lose them, which is awesome. But uh, a lot of this game focuses on you not holding down this button and actually engaging a little strafing, but also managing your speed. Because you go really slow when you're focus fired, and then you go faster when you switch to the normal alternating fire. So a lot of the skill involved here is managing that, of course, the classic shmup skills that you'll pick up, pathing, the ability to actually focus and not ramble on on your low rent YouTube channel for some views that you're probably not going to get. But you make it, you make the videos for your community anyway, because while they might be small, they are mighty. And I know all about that. Trust me. Trust me. So this boss has a lot of health. I have four bombs, which I'm going to use when things get crazy. Right now is a good time. Okay, those bombs go really slow, and that cost me some life. So this actually isn't bad. We're just sort of trying to micromanage our space. Looking for teeny tiny pockets so that our dot doesn't get annihilated. Which is actually a little tough, especially with little parts like that. You can see we're just barely getting getting a little graze there. But uh, I don't think there is a graze multiplier like there is in Danmaku. Of course, you just get hit immediately. I think we're good as long as we don't burn through our continues. And we just keep going, dude. Just keep going so the witcher patch super stoked my webcam is getting snagged in the sun if you could not do that that would be great sunlight there we go just oh pay attention to what's going on on the screen don't adjust your camera it's that whole uh let's make videos and you know ignore the game use your brain oh god that's gonna be tricky so it looks like it looks like the blue stuff goes away, but the pink stuff persists after the enemy dies. And this guy right here, throwing a bunch of missiles, coming flying off the screen. Screw you guys. We're just doing our best. Picking up power-ups. Enemies. There's all kinds of patterns here that you gotta figure out. But one thing about this game that's kind of annoying is a lot of this shit is feels super random. Like some of these games, you know exactly what these enemies are going to do. And maybe it's just because I'm unfamiliar with them and their projectiles and their placement and where they're going to be. But like right here, how am I supposed to get out of that? I guess I could have tried to use a bomb. But dang. Okay, I'm going to use a bomb there. Hopefully that was the right move. Because we are running out of bombs. We are officially out of bombs. So hopefully we pick some more of those up. So I've been excited for the Witcher patch. And I've also been playing Snack World. 
which was uh, a birthday present from Maria, which is awesome. I really, really like Snack World. And I've also been playing Darksiders Genesis, which you've probably already seen the video for that, or at least taken a peek at it. Oh, shit. Yeah, there was no getting past that one. But hey, we're back in the game immediately because all of our power-ups came back. And Snack World is really cute. I mean, it's it's 100% got like a bunch of food puns all the time, which I love puns and I love food, so it's like totally a win all over the all across the board, dude. Okay, let's focus for a second here. This sucks. We got teeny tiny pockets here, and heaven forbid anything flies in here that we gotta calibrate for, because we can't. Like right there, oh boy. Things are getting spicy. I can't see the boss's health, I can't see anything, except what I'm trying to do. I could try to use a bomb here, why not? So I'm just looking at my dot, holding down the fire button. And sometimes I struggle with this mechanic in bullet hells. I mean, I get it. There's a lot of shit going on the screen. You gotta have some place to go and you gotta pay attention. But I mean, all I'm really doing is staring at a single pixel on the screen, trying to make sure that it's moving somewhere safe. I'm not taking in the majesty of the boss or, you know, what's going on everywhere. There's just no time. Did we beat it? Or is there one more stage? We're gonna see here. Oh, we have two more stages. Oh, and the stage names. One of them had, like, Orgasmic in it, and this one is Thwarted Democracy. It's currently raining ice shards on our butt. So I went to Ikea. Ikea, arguably my least favorite store in existence, but I did find a redeeming quality. Now in Ikea, you have several options for, uh, you know, managing how you hold your items. You may use a cart, you may use one of their shitty bags, uh, or the, the cart that transforms the bag into a, you put the bag on this thing and it turns into a cart. But the third option is when you want to buy the big boys at the end. You like get to that stock room area and it's like, hey, pick how you want to spend all your money for your wife. And lift these heavy things. But you get this little trolley. And this trolley has some excellent ball bearings in it, as it turns out. So what I figured out is that I could actually push off the car the trolley, kind of like a razor scooter. And I could actually do oh my god. That was insane. I could actually do some sweet moves, dude. So it was like when you're at the store and you're riding on the shopping cart and you kick off like you're on a scooter and then you jump onto it and ride. I was able to do that, but with the trolley there, only this time, instead of just going straight, you can totally do like all kinds of twists and turns and you can have a, you can have a good time with it. And it's pretty elevated too. So you're kind of like, you push off on this thing and then you're just, okay, nowhere to go there, dude. Got me in a corner, bro. Alright, I need to use a bomb here. We're definitely gonna have to use a continue, I think. The thing with the trolley is it's really elevated. So when you're up there, coasting around, you are lord of the domain, dude. You are the king of Ikea. You can see everything. You can see any of everyone. At least I have a lot of credits. You can see everything and everyone. And you are just rolling around, twisting and turning. My son is like, oh my god, it's like we're figure skating. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. It is like figure skating. And, uh... That... is what made Ikea bearable for me. As sad as that is, the ability to be a badass and dominate the shopping floor with my trolley spin moves was what I enjoy most. I mean, there's stuff I want there, right? Like, I would love to have one of them standing desks. But damn, dude, they're only 500 bucks. 
Because you want a good one. You want one of the ones that, like, you know, have the button. It's all automatic. Because if you have one of those, what you can do is you can put a plate of, like, fried chicken or pork chops. Like, just move your keyboard out of the way. Throw that bitch on the ground. You're not going to need it. It's feeding time. And uh, you can put the plate in the space of your keyboard. You can push a button. And the plate moves up to your face. You don't have to do anything. Forks, get out of here. It's archaic tech. You have a standing desk that brings the food to you. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Okay, this is pretty tough. I need to be careful here. Gotta think. I'm gonna burn a bomb. So I'm gonna try to hold out with these blue things as much as possible. And I have one more bomb left, so it's gonna get pretty dicey. Okay, I just used it because I got smacked. Alright, so how do I stay out of the way of these idiots' lasers? Okay, just like that. Okay, we're actually just gonna stay close right here. Little teeny pockets, dude. I like it. We got this. Okay. We, we didn't have that. He's almost dead. Woo! That's the stage four boss. That one's a little spicy. Remember, this is on easy. Hard is dis... Or normal is disgustingly hard for me. Ugh. So you push a button, and it brings the food to your face. Which is, like, brilliant. So for $500, you can have a Swedish TV tray that feeds you. And you know, you can stand and stuff if you want, but I mean, most people with standing desks stand for two days, then they get a stool that they sit on. So it's like, well, why did you do it anyway? Well, I just need the stool in case my legs get tired. Well, the whole point is, you know, to be, to be better than that. But, I mean, if it feeds you, yeah. Oh my god, dude, we're going to burn through the rest of our continues just to get through this level. Alright, I think we're going to really start to focus on when we use our focus fire and when we don't. Like right now, we'll probably be good. Just because we need to carve a path. Oh god, I got no bumps. Oh man, there's one of our credits. That's a no bueno. Alright, we're gonna try to keep the spread out here. These smaller boys. Oh my god, maybe not him. He sucks. Jesus, man. We're just getting annihilated here. So... This is the last stage. So we know things are gonna get spicy. Let's throw out the bomb. And this is the final boss here. So we're just going to melt all of these tiny boys. Stay out of this green gook. If we can, we can't. Alright, so now we can just focus all of our fire here. Jesus, dude. Look how much health this thing has. You know, I guess in the scheme of things, this isn't that bad. I mean, the paths are pretty straightforward. Except for this one. We made a mistake there. Alright, maybe maybe we need some speed. Okay, maybe we don't. Damn it. Let's just burn our bombs. Just to get it out of the way. We know we're going to have to burn some continues to survive this. There's no way. Unless we like... Okay, let's, let's just try, dude. Stay over here. Man. See how hard that is, dude? Oh, God. Two continues. Are we actually going to win? I don't know. So, we got missiles. This one, we can survive longer than the other one. As long as we stay out of the way. Oh. I wish the bombs were more instant. I really do. Like, that freaking mode right here? 
That's like super tough. But the boss is almost down. Damn right, dude. First try. Didn't have to use any continues. I'm like the damn king of Ikea. Thanks for playing. Now try normal. Mm, okay. So there's a lot of credits here. I wish I could skip. Oh, I can skip the credits. Good. So my camera's really dark because of the damn sun. Which is fine, I mean... This is a pretty rough looking face anyway. Let's not, let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. I should probably be locked in some burning windmill. Torches, pitchforks, the whole thing. Well, I did way better than last time. Did that, did I? I did. Wow, I like almost tripled my score or doubled it. Is that triple? That's double, double. Yes, Dan did wonderfully. Good job, Dan. Let's see where let's see where Lord Shmup is. I don't want let's look global. Ooh, I'm rank four hundred and fifty-six. And seven hundred and seventy. Wow, am I climbing them ladders or what? Let's see if we can actually take a look at the leaderboards here. Let's do let's oh wow. We got Lord Shmup at number three. We got Lord Shmup at number nine. We got me so far down, it doesn't even matter. That's that's actually pretty cool, man. Good job, dude. Trev, well done. So let's take a look at um, normal mode. You know what? Screw it. I want to go straight into hard. I know what normal looks like. But I want to see how insane this can get. So here we go. Level 1. Use your bomb immediately. Because you are a moron. Alright. We are 100% about speed. Intensity. Focus. We should aggressively be using our focus beam there. We are not because we're dumb. Wow. Dead already. Okay. So far, a uh, bad start, dude. We died in the first two seconds. But imagine, if we can get through stage one on hard, wouldn't that be something? I mean, look how insane the screen is. And this ship, I love it. Look at that fire spread, dude. This really feels like Dan Mock, dude. Oh, man. But this is one of those shmups that if you are a master at it, oh my god, the dance that you'll do, it will be, it will be, um, magical. I mean, really. To watch this at a super high level, like I bet when Lord Shmup plays, people would just look at this and be like, you're, you're a god. Like, what is going on? Your focus is unreal. Okay, dude. Alright. I want to try to get through stage one. Without using a continue. Can it happen? On hard mode. Here we go. First boss. Let's do it. Alright, we're just going to actually keep our spread here. We're going to hit both these bastards at once. You know what? No, we're not. Let's get one of them down. Okay, that's one. Oh, that hurt. Okay, one more life. Oh my god. So it seems like every time that they're firing, I should just duck out. Nailed it, dude. With one life to spare. One life to live. These are the days of our lives. General Hospital. Uh, what else did my mom watch in soap operas when I was a kid? That was it, dude. It was a General Hospital and one life to live, 100%. And this was like during the old school days when there was like Todd. Do you guys remember Todd? He like got hit in the face with a pipe and he had a giant scar. And there was always that old lady. 
I was always an old lady, but all that drama. Every day, dude, she would watch Oprah in the afternoon, and then the soaps would begin. She always called them her soaps, which was hilarious. Anyway, this has been Ghostblade. We will continue our shmup adventure. I will probably make this one of the shmup shmupopalypse games this year, maybe, but I have so many switches, or shmups already, sort of in the wings, that I don't know. But um, thanks for hanging out. Be good to each other. And look for Lord Shmup as that number one, as he's no doubt going to be. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Okay, dude, come on. Come on. No, really, we're leaving. I swear. I just gotta reach up and push the button. Next death. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs>